yes welcome back students so in my previous video i have started with the preparations of halo alkenes i have prepared halo alkenes from alkenes i have picked up alkenes the mechanism which i have used is free radical halogenation so this is what i have done i've done the first part i have solved some examples also reactions also be careful please practice the reactions before you go for your examination remember one keyword tertiary is more preferred than secondary more preferred from primary write the products according to that i'm coming back to the next preparation of preparation 2 of halo alkenes from yes <coughs> alcohols Yes I'm going to prepare halo alkenes from alcohols and the test or the reagent used the reagent used is Lucas reagent Lucas reagent this is what I'm going to use yes now let me see first of all what is Lucas reagent let us understand Lucas reagent was first invented by howard lucas after this american chemist was invented lucas reagent so your lucas reagent is a mixture of anhydrous zncl2 with hcl concentrated hcl anhydrous zncl2 with concentrated hcl is lucas reagent so just see what am i going to do i'm going to pick up three different types of alcohols this is your lucas test which we are going to write we are going to prepare our halo alkenes first i'm going to take primary alcohol here i'm going to take secondary alcohol here i'm going to take tertiary alcohol here and i'm going to prepare halo alkenes so what if, first of all what is primary alcohol so let me uh, pick up the basic any any alk you can take with propanol it butanol any primary alcohols yes so when we take ch3 ch2 ch2 oh i have picked up this is a primary alcohol because two hydrogens and alcoholic group now what am i going to do i am going to take anhydrous lucas reagent zncl2 to this and i am going to add hcl to this as i said it is a mixture of anhydrous zncl2 and hcl just observe carefully uh, let me use a different pen for this it's going to take out or your oh will come out and your cl will go in attack what product do i get first i am going to take out water so what else is left the left over is cl yeah it is ch3 ch2 your ch2 and your nucleophile cl will come and replace but it was observed now am i not prepared i have prepared from alcohol halo alkene this is 1 2 3 carbon it is propanol yeah this is now what is this chloropropane this is propanol this is chloropropane done but what was observed was that primary alcohols when this reaction was performed in the lab it was observed that this reaction was or it did not didn't occur or it did not occur or did not occur at room temperature immediately in the lab it did not occur at room temperature because as i said primary is least preferred the product or it is not at all stable so it did not occur at room temperature only after heating when i started heating the test tube with this and this only on heating the turbidity appeared that is a light oily layer has formed in the test tube only on so let me write this only on only on heating yes turbidity or oily layer appeared a oily layer appeared or turbidity turbidity appeared after a long time turbidity up appeared after a long time so this is not a preferred product so this case ruled out because room temperature not possible because it is unstable the primary carbocation is unstable and it is it is not open when when it is when we come to our secondary alcohols let me see secondary alcohols how should i write now one 
<coughs> two carbon yes now this is one this hydrogen one oh in this side secondary alcohol yeah the, uh, you have one more alkyl group and this the secondary alcohol primary alcohol has two hydrogens secondary alcohol has one hydrogen so what should i add now concentrated hcl to this this is concentrated hcl and what should i add now lucas reagent combination and hydrous zn cl2 as i said as soon as you add lucas reagent the water which is adjacent or water molecule will come out so what do you get h2 out and this nucleophile will go and replace this oh minus what product do we get ch3 this is c this is ch3 this is h and this is cl i'm preparing from the secondary alcohol you are getting a halo alkane that is secondary halo alkane by using lucas reagent but what was observed is this particular turbidity i said lucas reagent test is either forming an oily layer or a turbid layer on the surface so what was observed that with secondary alcohol the turbidity or the oily layer it appeared after three to four minutes it just appeared after two to th three to four minutes because I said compared to primary secondary is a bit uh, it is uh, stable so a product has formed but it took three to four minutes for forming the uh, turbidity or oily layer so done now I'm going to take tertiary the most preferred or the stable carbocation is tertiary carbocation so I'm going to take a tertiary alcohol what is tertiary alcohol carbon OH all the three are having three alkyl groups yes uh, prime one more alkyl one more alkyl so if you want to be specific you will write methyl 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 any anything will do so ethyl methyl anything tertiary here this carbon is called tertiary carbon now i have to add hcl for the lucas reagent i have to add anhydrous zncl2 that's done when i add anhydrous zncl2 immediately we clearly know water is going to come out or dehydrated water released out here also same thing it's going to release out this water subtracted hcl and i get c r prime one this is one more this is also one more and this water has come out yeah this uh, I, I should write water here i've written this wrong so this is water h2o and what this cl is going to come and replace this i am going to get one cl here so what did i write tertiary alcohol from tertiary alcohol i have prepared chlor tertiary chloro or tertiary halo alkane remember when this reaction added immediately as soon as i took the test tube I, I with alcohol i added lucas reagent into the test tube just i took the test tube and i just shake the test tube immediately within seconds turbidity appeared turbidity appeared by shaking the test tube simple because most stable carbocation within seconds it formed the turbidity in the test tube the reaction is complete so this is how we prepare halo alkanes no very less possibility because it doesn't appear at room temperature here the turbidity or the reaction is complete in three or four minutes here in tertiary because tertiary is more stable it immediately appears as soon as you add with the dropper the lucas reagent you just shake the test tube without heating only you'll get the turbidity or the reaction by which indicates that halo alkane has formed thank you for watching